Hi, right, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Loser 101 video. In today's video, we're going to be doing an updated guide to my Max Fire build. I've uploaded one in the past, but there are some slight changes, so I want to completely go over that once again. Give you guys some different opportunities for other gear if you don't want to use some pieces of gear that I am using. So if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all type of stuff. Join Discord if you guys have it down below. Appreciate all the people that have been joining. And uh, yeah, let's get into the actual build. So right now, of course, I am on my fire with the stitch. This is just my energy stitch, but we're going to be using specifically uh this stitch right here this this build right here because this is my other build for some other stuff so i completely changed my stitch too so now my fire has a different stitch that's why the thumbnail is different than my old fire thumbnail uh because i decided to switch it up and not use the bulky armor anymore it looked fine from when it was like if it's like the character pov like this but when people saw it from the front it looked a little bit weird so i kind of just like tossed it out and decided to switch it up and use something like this for once but now let's actually get into the actual setup and my stats so when it comes to my stats, I have around 11k HP, 236 damage with uh, okay resist and good accuracy, 800 crit with 58 pierce, and of course these are my stats when it comes to like pips and everything like that too. So now let's actually get to the gear portion of what pieces of gear I use on my fire. So for my hat, I do use the Reaver Hood. Now when it comes to sockets, I will be clarifying this in all my videos, as I stated before in all the previous videos, is that sockets don't matter for this particular setup. You can rock whatever you want. I just have outgoing. Does that mean you have to use outgoing? No, literally, if you go over here to bingo, we'll talk about this real quick. And if you go to shield pins, you can use any of these. So if you want extra myth resist, go for it. If you want extra ice resist or balance resist, that's an option too. I just currently have outgoing, but that's because I was testing some stuff in for pre for like a video for further down the line. So don't worry about that too much. You can literally use any shield pin of your choosing. And then same thing with the sword pins. You can literally use what whatever sword pin. It's, it's just personal preference you use whatever you like at the end of the day when it comes to like the pins so just right now i have this so don't stress about it if you know oh i'm not copying your exact setup you don't have to use whatever sockets you want use whatever blocking uh blocking shield pins or shield or resist pins anything you like so don't stress out too much about that but specifically you do want to be using the reaver hood now, when it comes to the robe, I have switched over to the demonic robe. In my previous setup video for fire, I did say you want to use nullity. Now, now with the Polaris raid being a thing, you can actually farm uh, the demonic robe. The demonic robe is just nullity, but better. So I would recommend farming this, and it has decent stats overall, and I like the demonic rope a lot now when it comes to the sockets you can use anything you like but i do want to preface for the power pins i want to give like some specific options you can rock balance or you can rock depth now the reason why i specifically say that is because whenever you go to like the spells you currently like use whenever you're farming stuff people do use feints and people do use elemental blade ellie trap whatever right and there's no reason to have accuracy pins for any other stuff, in my opinion. So whether those two, it's up to you. Or if you really want to have like a dual school setup or something like that, that's a completely separate topic, which I'll make videos for down the line because I want to wait for the update to come out and that will heavily incentivize me to do certain setups. But just right now, when it comes to like mono fire and just like requesting and stuff like that, I feel like having accuracy for uh, for a death or for balance on your setup is nice just to have as a whole just the extra five and then of course on your boots you get another five so you'll have that 10 accuracy uh, in case you know you do get hit with a mantle in like some random fight so it just gives you that like extra chance of like oh you're not gonna fizzle because the spells by itself have 100 percent accuracy you guys can see that but it's just like a safety net because what else am i gonna put for a power pin there's literally nothing else you can put when it comes to power pins and if you check bingo of course and you check it's either that or conserve and i don't really need conserve pins personally because 61 conserve isn't gonna do much to me so i don't really see a reason for that and i'd rather just use the accuracy pins as a whole because they're just outright better so i would just use that personally 
but if you don't have the demonic robe and you don't want to do the polaris raid uh, you can go back and use the nullity robe that's an option too if you still have it from the void raid now if you don't want to do raids as a whole you're just like i'm done with raids i don't want to do them like please um another option is using the library gauntlet robe you guys can farm that with a group of members it's pretty easy to get i'm i had it i literally have the full set of every set for my alt accounts so it's pretty easy to farm i highly recommend you go do that and i know some people might ask can i just use reaver see the issue is with this setup you do have exactly 100 percent pips now if you go over here to bingo and you look at the robe for fire is if we go over here you get seven pips now that's going to bring you down right so you go from eight to seven and what that causes you to like what causes you to happen essentially you go back to 99 pips so that requires you to use a mount that gives you a pips or you can switch your ring to something that gives you a little bit extra pips and you sacrifice some damage so that's the only caveat if you want to use reaver now that's why i have that other setup of you using like the robe from the library gauntlet because it gives you enough pips so you don't fizzle or not fizzle so you don't uh, fail pip so i recommend just using that if you're just like a player that doesn't want to do raids farm a gauntlet it's not bad it's not hard to do so that's what i would do for your robe options particularly but i prefer the demonic robe just because i like the stats on it personally right um it's just, it really just comes down to personal preference um because usually when it comes to like end game it really just comes down to what stats you prefer and these are stats i prefer on my fire you're more than welcome to switch stuff around you're more than welcome to have other opinions but this is just what i prefer um, when it comes to like me just farming stuff and just doing stuff as a whole on my fire so demonic robe for me boots you want to be using reaver by now i feel like a lot of people should just have nightmare gear nightmare gear has been out for like such a long time now uh it's kind of just expected but i know some people are just kind of holding out because they're hoping um uh, selenopolis has like some good gear and that's fair right some people might think that but that's why i'm uploading these videos ahead of time so in case we do get new gear and it does get power crept or whatever i can make separate videos for every class or every school and switching out those pieces right but from what it seems like it's not going to be needed but we have to wait and see what the actual gear looks like to give it like a full justification so right now reaver boots as a whole and like i said with the sockets he's whatever um but for the power pin use balance or death one of those or if you want you can switch it to something else but i recommend balance or death now when it comes to the wands i recommend using the shababa wand now if you don't want to do raids like i prefaced before because you get this from the azteca raid you can honestly just use if we go back over here of course to bingo and we can go to our wands you can really just use uh where is it i think it's right here yeah you can really just use the dream reaver boomerang now i do want to preface this that shababa one the reason why i use it and th in the other videos i use the shababa one for like uh specific stats but this one particularly gives you one extra pierce so if you want the one extra pierce because if you do six plus six 12 it's 11 this gives you universal but of course if you combine them you'll have 12 well this is 11 so if you want one extra pierce and shad rating this would be your best bet and of course i like using the cards from here because the sun trap and the shield i'm not going to be using these cards because you can just max tier these and it's kind of just redundant so if you're doing pvp that's a different scenario but for pve this is just better and uh, i don't need pip conserve so you lose the pip conserve for shad rating so you get shad rating instead of pip conserve and then on top of that you get one extra pierce so that's why i use the shababa one and it is like that for specific schools because not all schools will like need the shababa one because it's like one extra pierce or something like that but i still use them on all my classes or all the schools because i just prefer it as a whole so you are more than welcome to go farm this from the azteca raid and if you don't want to go farm the azteca raid and you want to like just spend money and stuff you can open the fairy pack the fairy pack and the crown shop it'll be like fairy whatever whatever right but it'll be the exact same stats so you can just open packs if you wanted to but i would hold off on that just because we have new gear around the corner who knows if there's gonna be better ones so that's why i want to preface this that's why the title is called whatever it is right now unless i change it in the future but yeah but when it comes to tier socket i use health does that mean you should use health you do not have to uh highly recommend and i preface this in all my other videos is that when it comes to your tier socket you can put on a blade you can use any of these item cards right if you want another elemental blade if you want any of those other cards like a faint 
you can do that what i would recommend is on two of your tear sockets put on a potent trap and put on a sharpen blade it is like the best thing that's ever happened and that's why i want i updated this whole guide setup because you can now do that right so if you want to as well you can so socket that on at least on two piece two pieces of your tear sockets and you don't have to use your goon boots ever and it's good for stackability purposes because you can you know sharpen your blade in your main deck and then on top of that if you have an item card sharpen blade you can do that and you can stack more blades so it's very nice for questing very nice for just like if you're requesting with a friend or something like that and they you know maybe they're a storm you can just use an item card um sharpen blade and sharpen blade the elemental blade so more buffs so there's that and then same thing you can potent trap your feints so you can have like more feints on bosses and stuff like that too so overall that's what i would recommend for the the, the, the tier socket of course and now if we go to our theme i'm using dream reaver and i do have two sockets of damage with health and then the tier socket of health as well so you, you have the health on the square socket and then you have the tier socket of health now like i said get yourself some item cards put on sharpen blade good put on potent trap now if you really want to use health what i would honestly recommend don't farm the 155s because they're very painful to farm just go to lucky and go get yourself some 145 health opals and just call it there it's genuinely not worth farming 155s and i only use 155s on like my storm or my fire mainly because those are like the schools i usually farm stuff on and that's just what i prefer and usually i don't need the sharpened blade and potent trap personally because whenever i'm in like team scenarios i don't need the extra blade and stuff because other people are carrying it for me so if, when it comes to, like solo stuff then yeah carry it you know put on a tear socket that gives you sharpened blade potent trap whatever right but when i'm in like with friends and stuff or even like just like the alt accounts and farming stuff i just use pot and trap or trap and blade so there's that but you specifically the dream reaver and put on some damage sockets now for the amulet i do use hun house amulet and i do socket on damage and accuracy now i don't think i have the reaver on me but if we go over here to bingo bingo is such good for like these videos because i can just go back to them over and over but if we go over here to the fire one, you can see that you lose two resist and uh, you do gain block with the reaver. Now, this is just really up to you, but I now use Han Hao. In my previous video, I would be using reaver and stuff like that for the previous fire setup. But now with the addition of like tear sockets giving you blades and stuff like that, I just don't value this as much because if I don't mind you losing like a tear socket and putting on an extra item card to get this blade right and with this setup you can rock a pet that gives you a blade too which i'll talk about in a little bit so personally hun how better two extra resist uh, it's just overall better and sun traps nice but you have so many sun traps with this setup so it's not really like needed but still the hun how amulet is better and if you are planning to farm it you would farm it from the azteca raid and if you don't want to do raids you can open the pack specifically you would open the floromancer pack at 170 you don't open it lower of course because you get different templates or like same template just lower whatever but you would open at 170 specifically so you can get the amulet now if you don't want to open packs, you don't want to do raids, just use Reaver and call it a day. Don't stress yourself out about like two extra resist. So that's my recommendations for that amulets as a whole. And if we move on to the ring, I use the Reaver ring, of course, put on some HP for the square socket, put on a pierce tool. And then like I said, with the tier sockets, do whatever you like, but I personally just have health on, um, which I've prefaced before as well, why I do that. So that's what I would recommend. Now, when it comes to the mountain pet mount, I use Clockwork Courser. Now, if you don't have a Pierce mount, you can use you can use a Frillasaur set bonus. But the thing is, with the damage cap, you're at 236. And I know some people are asking, like, why don't you just uh, you know switch out a uh, Pierce tool for more damage? Now, if I were to do something like that, for example, I would only go up to 238. Now, my total damage is 246, but in reality, all I did was go up two damage. So I don't really see a reason to go that extra two damage. That's why my pierce is so high on these setups. It's 58. Now, if you really want the two extra damage, like sure, you can definitely use this for the two extra damage and get 52 pierce. Like 52 pierce is still good uh, because you roughly want to aim around 50 pierce. But I don't really need the two damage in most scenarios when I'm farming because I just overkill. So I don't mind losing that two damage for six pierce particularly. So that's why I chose 236 damage on my fire, specifically with this setup to have 58 pierce. 
so uh, if you don't want to do that like i said you can definitely swap that around but then what you would just do is you'd switch your mount to a uh, philosaur set bonus as well to make up the damage but i have this on a philosaur just for future proofing because if i ever do want to switch this and um use the mount that gives you set bonus i think i moved it to my bank or something i don't think i see it on me but you can just use that instead with the set bonus but not too sure if you would want to do that because yes you get the eight damage it's it's really just up to you with just with this whole increase i just prefer the two extra pierce i'm gonna be honest and what what that means is now you don't have to use it on philosaur right you can just use the clockwork courser or just any pierce mount that gives you two pierce and you can switch your pet to anything there's so many pets that give blades traps feints um literally anything that you like so it frees this up and you can use whatever you want on your philosaur or on your pet it doesn't have to be a philosaur I have it on a Frillo Sword just for future proofing because down the line, if stack caps get increased, whenever we get to 180, I don't have to remake the pet because damage caps will be increased and who knows what the gear is going to be looking like, of course. And personally, I don't need as many item cards right now, so I just left it on a Frillo Sword just for me. But you really just want these stats, and then I don't know if I go to my pet, of course. Just give her a dealer mighty break your piercer and then just fire give her you don't need the brimstone card i don't use it, it it's still bugged where even, even if i cross it out it still appears in my deck sometimes but i just it's because i take off this jewel and give it to my other uh fire on my account and i just keep swapping between them or if i want to equip it to like a different pet so there's that but that's when it comes to like the pet portion and the mount portion it's a little bit just up to you do you want to use the set bonus with the philosaur but just keep in mind the damage cap so like me even increasing my ring for 10 extra damage it only gave me two damage so just preferably i use this setup it's what i like you can flip flop some stuff around we're going to try to get the rough amount of stats that you prefer but this is just what i like as a whole and then of course when it comes to my deck i do use shababa deck do you have to use shababa deck no you can literally use dream river right here and you can see all you do is gain 40 hp with the shababa deck and then reaver would give you extra block so this is just up to you there's plenty of decks that give circle sockets uh, there's them there's so many at this point so just use a deck that gives you circle socket so you can socket on pierce and i do have like a deck that gives me damage because sometimes i do swap my deck um and swap some stats around depending on the content like for example this is a prime example where i would switch my ring and this is why i carry it on my fire is if i know i'm going to be piercing a boss and they have like you know let's say they have like less than 50 resist they have like 30 or something like that right um and i don't need as much pierce i do sometimes for example will like switch my deck of course and i would like i don't mind lowering my pierce so i'll go down to 52 and i'll have 238 damage and then even if i were to switch my ring for more damage i only go up one percent but sometimes you know if you know if you like go on the wiki and you see what that enemy has resist wise or whatever and you know you don't need as much pierce and that you know that they don't cast shields and stuff like that sometimes it's just worth the one percent extra damage <laughs> so i always carry extra pieces of like the ring and the deck and sometimes the theme but i think it's currently in my gear vault and i would just swap some stuff around so that's why i'm saying it's this setup is really just up to you as a player and what you prefer because fire and storm are very like i saved them for last because it's the ones i have to update but those specific ones it's just like little tiny stat tweaks that you want to do and you can just kind of pick and choose what you like so yeah it's really just up to you but these are the stats i overall prefer uh, when it comes to like my setup which is 236 and 58 but just keep in mind i do swap out my ring at times and i do swap out my deck depending on the fight right depending on the fight so yeah that's just this is my setup this is what i prefer you guys are more than welcome to have your own opinions on your setups because fire and storm like i said are very niche when it comes to like stat differences of what you prefer all the other setups are kind of just like obvious while fire and storm are kind of like okay maybe i want to tweak this maybe i want to take that etc so that's the basic premise of my setup but just like i said switch out the robe if you need to um switch out the amulet or the wand you don't have to have the exact stuff that i use like the raid stuff because i know not everyone does raids so 
switch this to the robe from the library gauntlet if you want to just go farm that you can just use the reaver wand for this and then you can just use a reaver amulet for this as well and then the pet it doesn't have to be on a furlosaur use any pet that you like uh but i have it for future proofing if i need to use this pet and down the line right with that that has like the set bonus it's already like already on the fossil avenger but you can switch this to any pet that you like just need those stats overall and they're just better um and then yeah you would want to pierce mount with this setup but if you don't want to use pierce you can have a damage mount but like i said it's not going to increase your stats as much because you're literally at the curve so it's very hard pushing up than like 238 and stuff like that so unless you want to just go full damage um you know sockets you're more than welcome to do that and i think i talked about that in my previous fire video so it's really just up to you but i think this is just like the overall better build and what i've been personally using for like a while so yes but that is it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed uh be sure to leave a like subscribe all type of stuff and i should be uploading the storm video either today or tomorrow so be on the lookout for that it'll be like an updated guide and uh yeah join discord down below of course all that type of stuff and i'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.